Last time in our search for good single ship fleet, we traded in the ventures, exploration, and trade capabilities for something with a little more firepower, an onslaught. We had some small skirmishes before running into uh, the largest vanilla pirate armada I think I've seen. Uh, unable to save the station, uh, we nonetheless found that the onslaught was very capable of combat. Moving on from there, we completed some more system bounties and personal bounties, uh, and overall have been quite pleased with the Onslaught's uh, capabilities. It has a surprisingly good fuel and cargo capacity to maintenance and burn level, uh, but we are going to next test out the Legion. Uh, we did manage to find one in a unexplored sector, and we are looking forward to trying it out as well. Welcome back, I'm your host, Steel. I uh, hope everybody's having a good day. We are picking back up with Star Sector's search for a good single ship fleet. Uh, and today we are going to be starting... Ooh, hold on. Oh, that's right, we haven't really found anything. Uh, today we're going to be starting with the Legion. Uh, we picked up the Legion just a little bit ago. Probably... We might take that. Uh, this is what I've... I've come to uh, after just uh, a little bit of testing uh, and it's still not ideal for us I, I think we'll probably be switching out Vulcan cannons we'll probably upgrade the black cannons the dual flat cannons if we get a chance uh, and the heavy auto cannon isn't I don't think is the, the best choice uh, but we do have hammer barrage we could get a cyclone reaper but the extra six points uh, is, is costing us a lot right now because we went ahead and put on Trident Torpedo Bombers, which are absolutely fantastic, uh, and Broadsword Heavy Fighters, which are a little cheaper, thankfully, uh, but they're just uh, a good, solid Heavy Fighter to include. Uh, we are going to hopefully take some bounty missions this day, um, and we'll kind of see where this takes us. We don't have quite the cargo capacity or fuel capacity that we did with the... Onslaught, uh, but that's okay because we still have a, a decent um, daily supply, about 1.1, and our burn level, although a little high, um, is going to give us plenty of room to, to kind of maneuver around. At least the core area, some of these closer, um, closer regions, that way we can go ahead and take care of some bounties. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and load up on fuel. Let's grab just a little bit more in the area of supplies. Let's check out what we're doing. We've still got um, some pickups to do for the Glacial Academy, so perhaps we'll go ahead and start that back up. That way we can start working to um, the, the Alpha mission. I don't know why we <laughs> keep getting officer promotions. Uh, I've also downgraded our trade um, trade contacts to just regular contacts. But I think we'll probably go ahead and get moving. Let's check in with our investor. Yeah, we'll skip. see what we've got going on. None of these are really within our reach. Ooh, but it looks like we do have at least one bounty we can take care of, so we'll go ahead and fly in on that. Anything in the range of exploration? Uh, potentially. Looks like they're probably inundated with pirates, or they will be soon if they aren't already. Yep, 19 days, so that should be just fine. Alright, let's go ahead and take care of this bounty. See how we do. It's a small bounty, uh, for sure, so we'll honestly just absolutely destroy them. But... That's okay. 
will go help in the uh, pirate raid. It's a small irradiated world, so I'm going to assume it's this one over here. My apologies. I'm still working on the coffee today. Uh, I have a regular work schedule, so I try to get some, some of the videos done in the morning. Certainly can't do it during work. Uh, anything I made then on downtime when I'm actually not working would be absolute garbage. All right, let's see how we perform. The hammer barrage I found in running some simulations and uh, trying to look around for equipment is absolutely horrifying for uh, vessels that are destroyer frigate size. Um, we'll use it on the mule here in a second. <laughs> but um, the Trident bombers just shred any any frigate. Leaving the uh, ships on gauge. It's been the biggest issue I've seen. I start targeting manually behind us to get them. Fantastic. Nice and easy. No, we don't want any one of these ships. Uh, you know what? We'll just take it off. We have space. make our way to Nakara, assuming there hasn't been some unusual change. Nope, fantastic. Let's get to it. Always try to get around the sun before setting the autopilot. I have my eye out for a couple different ships, uh, and we might, now that we, we are seeing some more money and bigger ships are being produced by the factions, we're going to start looking at some pretty pretty awkward builds. Uh, or looking at some pretty, hopefully, excellent builds. Uh, <laughs> as far as, you know, our, our current hope uh, to create a good single ship fleet. That's, that's really what this is all uh, predicated on. Yeah, come here. Come here. Because even if we just had a fuel on a supply ship, there's a, a lot we would change. You know what? I'll just let them engage how they want. Ah, no, I really hate kites. Let's go ahead and destroy them.
Yeah, the heavy auto cannons aren't my favorite. I think they're pretty good on most ships, but I think we need something that has a bit, little bit better tracking. We'll let them go. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> okay. Burn drive is going to make this little part easier, but they're certainly going to come from our sides like they always do. Yep. The fighters make a, a nice little deterrent. that they have plenty of speed to be able to avoid uh, the enemies so I have no concern there Taking a look at the got. I was thinking about putting Kopesh bombers on here too, but I feel like the heavy broadswords are really needed for some staying power. we had a guy over here obviously I'm wrong well let's take a look because maybe they'll have one for an enemy we have None of these are our enemies right now. Let's go ahead and try to join the battle. We haven't done anything so fantastic that we could lose and uh, be upset about it, so let's just get to it. So, something uh, some people pointed out, I was trying to share some, some build ideas with Reddit, um, and I have the burn drive. There's really no need to be using the unstable injector. Hindsight, I, I shouldn't have probably that way. That would have got us a good, good number of points back by using something else um, in place of the uh, unstable injector that we have, if we have it on the I'm, I'm like 90% sure. Let's go ahead and harass the afflictor. We gotta come out of phase eventually.
close enough so the Vulcans can start firing. Yep, you're down. Let's go ahead and angle our way over here. Might move over here and start clearing up. They almost had him for a second. Let's see if we can, see if we can help dig out the collector. The auto cannons, we must be right at the edge. Yeah. There you go. Excellent. Come here, little cool shepherd. Right, he's probably going to get away. I don't think we took any hits. Ah, we'll just claim victory. Join the pursuit. right here we turn around sell this fantastic some more.
let him get in the fight. There we go. Perfect. We're going to do the same thing. Makes a big difference when you have some extra skills. What's it looking like? Okay. They have almost taken that eradicator down on their own for my fighter. Oh. Here, let's just do this. Aw, oh, a little mana core, get out of the way. I think I've had more issues with Falcons than any other type of ship. Let our Vulcans unleash too, get some frag damage. Good hammer barrage him, but he really doesn't pose up for the threat of the rest of the Awesome. Claim victory again. but that's okay.
fantastic. Get him. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. Almost too heavy to move. <laughs> That's what we like to see. I hope we're still getting commission for all this. Goodness gracious. Just do it. Give it a shot. I say we give it a shot. We're here to help. Shepherd spin sometime. Reapers right in the front. Fantastic.
Nice. Let's see, uh, see how the other planet's doing over here. Pick up some more crew. Get up to 1200. Uh, we're probably good on supplies as long as we don't have too much to repair. Yeah, let's grab 50. Oh, looks like we have another character point too. So, good question on where we're going to put this. We're using the Legion right now, but I don't know if we want to put it into. modulation is not a bad one. You kind of get like a, a free hardened shields built right in. It's not as good, obviously. 15%, I think, instead of like 50. But... <laughs> one thing we can probably do as we continue to level up is look at containment procedures and makeshift equipment. A little equipment. Equipment because uh, it'll reduce the number of supplies and the fuel we use. Like in this case, uh, we require a base of 32, which can be reduced to 16. Um, that is far and above better than efficiency overhaul. Same for containment procedures. Uh, not only will it help us prevent the loss of crew, but we'll also go from burning 18 units of fuel per light year to nine. Um, oh, it looks like we also get more fuel salvaged. How have I never noticed that before? Um, which is, again, better than the efficiency overhaul. Doubles our range, doubles our, our supply capacity, essentially. It's very nice, but I think what we're going to do is probably focus on all fighters, grants of increased effects to top speed, targeting lead. That might be a good one. Fighter replacement might also be a good one. is tough. You know what, let's let's ruminate on it for just a little bit. While we go ahead and try to uh, take care of some of the system bounty. So far we've been fighting pretty exclusively with allies, which has clearly been successful. Falcon, Falcon, yeah. Let's go ahead and take this out on our own.
really have to, it seems, bully people with the, uh, the Legion. Oh, just out of missile range. Burn drive is good at getting out of um, a bad situation, but it is just as good at pushing you right into one. So we gotta be careful when we use it. He retreated. What are you doing? Uh, let's pursue him. We don't need this supply or anything, but it's interesting to use for a second. Uh, of course. We can get our story points back from a couple ships when we scuttle them. I don't think we're going to go back to using the Mora or anything like that. So, I think this is probably our, our, a safe bet, at least. I don't know if it's the best choice we could have made. Somebody can tell me in the comments what you guys would have done. Second, so we can get some better fighters up.
group. Let him go. We'll grab those four. All right, we're in systems. So let's go ahead and save. slid right in between that. I don't often worry about fuel as much as I do um, supplies because Especially if you're out and about, you're generally going to run into an enemy, and they will typically drop fuel. What's that? Ooh! Another? Alright, we'll just remember it's over there. In fact, we'll save before we forget it's over there. You guys can come and try to get me. You lead them away just a little bit, so that way they're they're coming in like twos or threes rather than a big blob, and it makes it a lot easier to combat anyone. Get you first.
Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was wondering why it said exit campaign. We still have one more to go. Uh, we'll let him go. See if you guys want to come and get us. Couple of you. Yeah, perfect. We'll let the AI handle this. See if I put together a ship the AI finds useful too. This is not always the case. Spaceships especially um, find that AI handles them poorly. Plenty of ammo. Go ahead and hammer. There you go. Little Wayfarer just made a decision to retreat. <laughs> it might be too late, though. That's it. Go ahead and kill that little kite. And start working on the Cerberus. fighter replacement going. Maybe that's what we should have picked.
Yeah, we're just throwing out Chalice, I know, but... We don't really have too much concern now. So we will just go ahead and throw out the hammers. Give the AI another chance. Maybe they do a better job of keeping their fighter replacement up high. You know, the, um, the spinning legion is kind of like a low-tech orbital station in some ways. fact I forgot to actually set the AI to autopilot for just a second they did a great job I know we keep saving but it's a lot of I mean because as soon as we you know explode come on as soon as we explode we we go revert to the spacer so we're really really have to deal with this. Although, now that I think about it, we could, in theory, um, just make our way to one of those ships that we had stored in a dock and tried working with them again. Maybe we'll think about that. I gotta tell you, Autopilot, you're not doing a great job here. Making me happy. Great job. We're just not going to let the AI take control this time. <laughs> Go ahead and engage. Right between the hammers. Come on. Kites are so fast. So, it was so maneuverable, at the very least. A little broad 
bullets are trying to make its way back. Took your reaper shot and you failed. Engage for you guys. Good job. Give a little, little time to repair, and we'll uh, see if we can take on the gore. You guys are welcome to see. Come on. Anyone can give it a shot if they want. Nope. we can get them we're not sure we can we did it with the onslaught the onslaught has a ton of frontal firepower and a decent amount of rear defense which is really going to help with the number of uh, fighters they're going to be able to put in play I mean, anything worth taking. All right. Let's grab that extra legion. Let's head back. Don't 
have enough people to man it entirely. What's our max? Okay, 44 is acceptable. Remember, we're just we're just hauling it right now. And that should be enough to get us at back. Yep. All right, let's head back to Jengala. Drop this one off too. Good job so far, everybody. We have enough. Okie dokie, guys. I think the Legion is quite a success. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk. It's quite a success. Um, I don't know if it's got quite as much forward firepower as the... Ah, come on. Stop bouncing me around. As the Onslaught had. Uh, but it's definitely a better battleship than the Mora was. Uh, which isn't surprising since it's a capital ship. Um, I think the biggest bonus was its additional cargo and fuel capacity. We bought, brought way too many supplies. Way too many. Uh, we could have maybe come with a quarter of it and we would have been fine, it looks like. Uh, but that's okay. We are trying these out. We have, I don't want to say unlimited money, but it's not hard for us to get money. Um, I think it was quite successful. Legion. Big upsides, four fighter compliments. Incredible. Downside, I think the biggest one is the lack of rear point defense of any sort. So anytime we saw a Hound, a Cerberus, a Kite get behind us, we had to send the fighters after it, otherwise they just have free shots. The one time our Legion did get destroyed was because the Hound was behind us just peppering away. Um, but otherwise, I think this really worked out well, guys. Go ahead and like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Uh, we'll take a look later at what we can do maybe with a different build on the Legion that might be more exploration based. Since we have two, I wouldn't be too afraid of throwing expanded cargo holds on there. <laughs> or even survey equipment. Uh, it would be silly though. Um, that being said, otherwise I really appreciate you guys' time. Like, share, subscribe, go ahead and comment down below. And until next time, you have a good one.